All right, we are here, and this is this is the one that we've been waiting for. This is we're at the Oracle Oracle Local Government. So this is our public safety area, and this vehicle behind us is the this is the Oracle Cyber Patrol, but the Oracle Tesla Cybertruck that we built for public safety. Amazing, and this thing is super cool. I, I this has to be one of the most visited areas of the floor. It's been amazing traffic. Shane's here with me. We're going to take a little cruise sure. through the truck. You're going to show us some of the very interesting features, a lot of very new technology that we built specific to this truck and that you actually had a hand in. Uh, and then later on, I'm going to spin the roulette wheel. If sure. I win enough, I buy the truck. We can do that. Alternatively, yeah, I steal it. Give, so, us, give us a hint here on what we got going on. So all new this year to the Oracle Tesla Cybertruck as we added this brand new device for Oracle. This is the Oracle Cloud Connector. So what the Cloud Connector does it has dual SIM capability, so dual 5G, that's pushed up through a panorama antenna here, and it also can pipe in Starlink. So a Starlink Mini, a Starlink HP. Why is that important? It gives all-time communications that's never down for our customers. So this is brand new to the market. Um, this sits inside the vehicle as well. We built it into this box, so it's a deployable unit, so we work with Stellar Mount, and they built this box for us here, um, so you can leave it with you know, a forestry department that needs it. So that way, the vehicle can be, have communications and also this device. So um, all new to the market, work with uh, Matt Beals, team Renee, some Paul over there. So it was, a, it was a really, really awesome concept. And also we have, when we saw Larry demo this a little bit in the video yesterday, the drone. Yeah, drone capability, yeah. So then we have our deployable drone. Why this drone is important is because now an officer or a dispatcher can see the drone feed from the field to provide more surveillance, maybe some more situational awareness, maybe a, a hotspot in a forestry. Um, if there's, you know, for the forestry team that's out there trying to put out fires. So the drone capability can see, be seen inside the truck as well, and we're gonna get into that right now. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, public safety takes all forms. So let's meet on the truck there. I need to make sure that, that the seat fits me okay if I'm gonna drive this thing out of here. And like, let's be honest, this is another Blues Brothers moment, and it's gonna happen. I hope everybody is off the floor when I fired this up, but let's take a look here. So we step in, luxurious seating, of course, because if you're on patrol for long periods of time, yes. you got to be comfortable. So what do we got? What are we looking at here from, from a public safety point of view? So in, in the Cybertruck, we are using the OEM hardware, which is the dash. This is the infotainment center. If this wasn't a Cybertruck, Oracle sells a Oracle vehicle communications tablet, a regular, a ruggedized tablet. But in this, in this scenario, we're using what's stock in the vehicle. And what you see here on the screen is called incident command. Okay. So you can see, you know, we got our drone feed. You as the officer, you say, hey, what's going on inside that building for a college campus, for example? You can switch, you can go back to the drone feed. And then you can see everywhere in the city on where units are deployed, what assets you have that are available. So this is a small, small feature of a much larger product offering. Very cool. So, so if I'm, for example, tracking Fritz, uh, because he's committed several crimes, and I need to know. And so I'd, I'd see him in my incident availability. I'd be able to see on the map where I, somebody's reported. I've seen Fritz. Absolutely. We got a problem, and then and then we deploy our drone to go follow him around and make sure that what totally. he's doing is his crimes are being uh, captured appropriately. Yeah, and, and even body worn. So if Shauna, for example, is wearing the body worn camera, right? She can go broadcast from her camera and show us exactly what Fritz is doing. And so you've been working on this now for at least a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it are, so our team in total for public safety, it's been about five years of development. We have customers live currently using everything that we're talking about. So, um, and, we're, and we're growing. I mean, AI is, uh, it's the, the way Oracle is moving AI into the, um, in the industry is not just with public safety, but across all. Um, we're giving the customers, you know, we're solving for a lot of those answers that they're, they're looking for. Yeah. Right. And, and when, they, when they look at this, I mean, I got to assume people are just like blown away. By, by the insanity of this whole thing, uh, both in terms of its scale and its technology and the AI driving everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it can drive itself. You know, all the cameras on the vehicle, you can use that data and that telemetry. I mean, overall, um, this is a one-stop shop vehicle. So for patrol, SWAT, EMS, and ultimately, none of that works without communications. That's what ECP has developed for us here for Oracle. So, yeah, so, so the comms network obviously factors in it and having and having redundant comms networks be able to take advantage. Exactly. I mean, we're having video go through the cloud. We're having all that data that, that's from the body worn camera, everything that's coming from dispatch. I mean, that's a lot yeah. going on. Yeah, a lot of data. I mean, that's all being processed on OCI. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. So um, for Oracle Public Safety, I mean, we've, we've solved all the solutions. We're still listening to our, our customers, giving them 
you know, answers that they need to go provide for their, their cities and their communities. Amazing. And public safety, great, great thing to have. Yeah. Uh, we're going to throw it back to the next. Shane, thanks for joining us today.